we can take a look at CBS stock, Carl, because it's down. Of course, we did get the uh, ruling as we expected from the judge in, in terms of getting it, and uh, he's denying that temporary restraining order. Um, we, we talked earlier about the fact that some people may have misinterpreted this temporary, temporary restraining order that the judge issued yesterday and somehow thought that that was indicative of what he would rule this morning, uh, but it was not. Uh, the letter that uh, is put out uh, this morning constitutes the court's ruling on plaintiff's motion for a temporary restraining order. Although a more extensive decision of the discussion of the issues would be desirable, uh, Chancellor uh, Bouchard says the need for an immediate decision necessitates brevity, and for the reasons explained, the motion is denied. The order that was entered at the conclusion of yesterday's hearing to protect the court's jurisdiction hereby rescinded. So he's rescinded that temporary, temporary restraining order that he'd issued yesterday, telling all parties to just calm down. What is the effect of this? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, best uh, we can tell at this point, of course, you may remember yesterday. National Amusements, the controlling shareholder of CBS and Viacom, for that matter, uh, changed the bylaws via written consent, as it is able to do, to not allow the CBS board to be able to vote with a simple majority on whether to issue a dividend. On Monday, recall, we got a request for this TRO and a complaint to the court asking for the right to and alerting that on Thursday, that is today, they would meet to, under their rating of the charter of CBS, issue a dividend that would have the effect of taking their controlling shareholders' uh, vote down from 80 percent to 17 percent. Uh, and many had told me it seemed unlikely a court would go along with that, with the ability to do that. They are planning on meeting at 5 o'clock today. Yesterday, those bylaws were changed to require a supermajority. Namely, 90% of the directors would have to vote in favor of said dividend uh, in order for it to pass. I think they're still planning on having that 5 o'clock meeting, but the effect of today's uh, order or the fact that they didn't get the temporary restraining order means those bylaws are in effect and they're not going to be able to issue this dividend. And therefore, we're back to where we kind of were which is Sherry Redstone and Leslie Moonves are at odds about the management of the combined company and the composition of the board of directors. And she is in a position where she can replace that board. Uh, whether she chooses to do so is unclear. She had said previously over this, or I should say National Amusements has made it clear in their complaint or their response to the complaint that they had no plans to do that. Um, many of my sources expect, of course, they are going to do that. She will replace the board in due time and Mr. Moonves as CEO. And this attempt, almost some people saying, you know, to blow things up entirely will include blowing themselves up as well. We think this board meeting may be the last of this particular board? I think it's possible, Carl. I don't want to read too much. You know, again, who can say how things go here? And I've tried to do a lot of reporting over the last couple of days is what may occur. First and foremost, though, is that CBS is lost on this TRO, importantly. Um, I want to read the rest of it. We've rushed on air here, make sure we haven't missed anything of particular importance. Um, but this basically says there's no way they're going to that meeting today and going to be able to, uh, to violate the intent of their controlling shareholder. Right. It said, you know, as best you can say it. And therefore, she remains, or NAI remains, in a position to do what it wants. Right. right. To do and, what it wants. And Sherry Redstone continues to write the rules. This was kind of like CBS attempting to break off, you know, declare its independence in, in essence from National Amusements, which is a controlling shareholder. These things rarely seem to happen in isolation. I mean, do, do shareholders of CBS who might have agreed with Les Moonves that putting CBS together with Viacom under these terms wasn't good. Is there any other legal effort to try to stop what is likely to happen? Yes, it's possible you could end up in Delaware court on charges that they are violating their fiduciary duty uh, if, in fact, they force a merger to occur on terms that are unfair to CBS. But I've also heard that, well, there may not be a duty that the controlling shareholder has. But that could be at least another argument, John, that's brought into court uh, at some point. Um, but the reason we're watching CBS stock sink, of course, is because we're back in the possibility 
or likelihood that a deal does in fact occur, the controlling shareholder uh, asserts their continued rights as they have them and, and is, has been at least maintained as a result of not getting that TRO. Really quick, uh, 6%. We, we, we see 6% declines all the time, but for yeah. CBS, it's the worst day uh, in, since, since 2011. Wow. Yeah, October of 11. Not, yeah, would not have expected yeah. that. And by the way, CBS is coming off a very strong quarter. As you know, Carl, we reported on it what, last week, I think it was. Uh, and the special committee of the board of directors in rejecting the Viacom deal made it clear they feel that there has been a cap on the stock and that it would have appreciated a great deal more if in fact it was known to be and remain an independent company. Um, but we'll have to wait and see what develops from here. I, I, again, there, the National Newsman's camp and people close to it have indicated to me they did not have plans to replace the board. They were relying in their complaint, of course, at CBS on what they said were press reports, rumors, things that were being thought about, but there had been no construct efforts made towards that. But it's hard to imagine this state of affairs is going to be able to exist any longer. And therefore, kind of what we reported weeks and weeks ago as a likely outcome seems more likely, which is you will get a replacement of the board of directors, as is the right of NAI at some point, and potentially Mr. Moonves having to step down. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.